Most people don't realize the San Francisco Bay is a third smaller than it once was. That's because over the years, people have filled in parts of the bay for development, industry, and salt ponds. But NBC 11's Ethan Harp shows us how one group took a small step today toward reversing that trend. For more than 100 years, the city of Hayward has been a Bay Area city without much of a bay. Hayward's not one of those places that thinks of itself as a Bay Shoreline community. It's been walled off from the bay. The only thing standing between those waterfront bragging rights has been a series of levees used by private salt companies to create commercial salt ponds along the shoreline. They would just block off the section of bay and bring in bay water, evaporate that water and make salt. And so there's no need for this salt making operation anymore, so this is a chance to put it back to the natural environment that it was. The first step toward that was for the state and environmental groups to purchase more than a thousand acres of former marshlands for private companies. Step two is where the fun starts. They're actually going to break through a last little bit of levee to let the bay water flow back into these old salt ponds. Today, tractors broke through one old levee, releasing water into a 300-acre plot of land for the first time in over a century. That's very beneficial for fish and wildlife. Tidal marsh is what we most need more of. 95% of the tidal marsh around the bay has been destroyed, and this is one of the places where we can get it back. Future plans will also include a series of public trails around the new tidal marshes, giving people a chance to tour the Bay Area's newest waterfront property. Ethan Harp, NBC 11 News. State officials say they hope someday to restore 15,000 acres of former salt ponds in Hayward. The area will become part of the new Bay Trail, which is expected to be complete next year. As you